Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Yesterday, Capture One was updated to version 14.4. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Capture One. To tell you the truth, there isn't a lot new in this version. What is new is actually old. Now, first of all, they did add new support for cameras, lenses, and tethering. But what's new is actually something that they removed in the previous version, 14.3. That is the export functionality that they used to have in Capture One. They removed it and simplified it. And many people were quite upset that they removed it. So they brought it back. Now, when you first upgrade or update your Capture One to version 14.4, you won't see that new slash old export dialog or tab. You have to add it. Now, to add it, just open up an image in Capture One. Go to the tab group and go to the end where a tab group isn't. There isn't a tab group there and just right click and we're going to add a new tool tab and we're going to go down and add export and once you do that you'll have your export dialog in all its glory um, now it's pretty much the same but let me um, maybe get out a little bit make a little more room uh, let me just explain a little bit for those of you that aren't familiar with the export uh, functionality found in Capture One. First of all, at the top, you have some export recipes. These are kind of like presets. So right as it is now, if I click here, I am I could rename it, but we don't want to do that. Um, I'd be exporting a JPEG, uh, 2048 pixels for web use. But what if I also need a TIFF with that? Well, I could add a TIFF to that as well, or a different JPEG, Instagram optimized, let's say. Um, here, why don't we even pick that and undo that? So we're going to send this image to Instagram ultimately, but I need to export it out of Capture One. So I'm going to use that recipe. When you pick a recipe, it will um, put the correct settings down below for that specific uh, function or that specific task you want to use that image for. Uh, so using this JPEG Instagram optimized, I could come down here and I'm going to... Um, export it to the desktop. Um, do I want to add a, the suffix? Overwrite the suffix? Yeah, I'm going to add the suffix. And um, image name, uh, like just underscore DSC 4745. Yeah, I could go for that or I could choose something else uh, to rename it the way I want to. But I'm just going to stay with that. Um, because I use that export recipe of JPEG, it's giving me a JPEG. Um, but I'll change the quality to 100 and instead of 80. I'm going to use the sRGB color profile. You see, I could also choose the Adobe RGB. Um, because it's Instagram, the width would be 1,080. Uh, because it's a landscape image, that's, of course, the long edge. Uh, after it exports, do I want to open it up in Photoshop or Mac Preview? Um, no, so I don't need to do that. Now, if it was cropped, it isn't. Uh, do I want to respect the crop or ignore the crop? You have the option to do that. Um, I'll put sharpening for screen or for print, obviously, because it's going to Instagram, it put for screen there, but I could override that and put no output sharpening. Um, watermark, I don't use them. Now, because it is Instagram, you may not want to put your GPS coordinates and other info in there. So I'll, like your camera metadata, that'd be like the camera serial number. You don't want that usually. So you might just want the copyright info. And then your export summary, it's gonna be a JPEG Instagram optimized. It's gonna have that file name. Uh, the size will be 1080 by 720. The scale is 19% because we are sending it smaller than the actual image. Uh, sRGB color space profile, JPEG quality 100. And when it does export, it's going to be approximately uh, 564 kilobytes in size. And when you're all set, you can just go back up towards the top and click on export and it will export your image to the desktop. And we'll can minimize this, and there's our image right there, optimized for Instagram, although I did modify some of those settings a little bit. I changed the quality from 80 to 100. 
Not that I could see the difference, but I just did that to show you that you actually can change the quality. So the export functionality that was in 14.3 and earlier versions of Capture One is back. So that is what's new. The old thing is new in Capture One version 14.4. And in the description below this video, I have a link uh, to their website where you could see all the new uh, camera lens and tethering support they added to this version and anything else that they say is new, which really isn't a lot. Just that old thing, the export dialogue that many of us are happy about. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.